After more than eight weeks on the picket line, workers at the Kellogg's plant in Omaha could be back to work soon. That's right. 3 News Hour reporter Zach Williamson joins us live from outside the plant with the details. Zach, good morning. Good morning, Cerise and Mary. For eight weeks, Dan Miller and his co-workers have been outside the Kellogg's plant here in Omaha on the picket lines on strike. But news broke last night that a potential deal, a tentative agreement has been reached between the union that represents the workers and the Kellogg company. Dan, just tell me kind of what your initial reactions were when you found out the news. I mean, you guys have been out here for yeah. nearly 60 days. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a, a, a comforting thought that we're going to be able to vote on something and they bring, they're bringing something back. Um, we'll have more information on Friday when we have a, a, a meeting, three meetings are set up for the body, and we'll get information more as to what transpired in, in these negotiations and, and how they came to, to reach the agreements that they did. And uh, I'm sure there'll be questions from the body to the negotiators, which we gave them the power to either accept or deny uh, bringing back something. Uh, unlike the, 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 what the company says, that, that we haven't had anything to vote on because uh, that the union refuses. Well, that's not totally true. The union's always been open to bringing something back if there was something good to bring back. Now, it seems like this is a pretty decent offer. We'll find out on Friday when we get more information on it to, to get more details as to how things are going to, how things unraveled to where we came to this uh, ratification type of proposal. So we'll find out on Friday more information. Yeah, you'll find out more information on Friday than it sounds like Sunday is when you and all the other plants would, would get to voting. Yeah, Sunday is going to be uh, a voting on it and they haven't made quite the decision as to where the voting is going to be held. That'll be at a later date. They'll give us more information on that. But uh, yeah, it sounds like Sunday and we'll see how the chips fall on Sunday if we are going to be ratified or we're going to be out here for longer and going back to the table. That's anybody's guess and uh, I really don't have a crystal ball on that and how it's going to go. So, uh, and, and Dan, again, I mean, it's been eight, eight weeks, so just talk about, you know, did you expect it to go this long and, and kind of where you're at right now? When we first went out, I thought this thing would be kind of said and done in about, you know, three, four weeks, you know, once they got to talking and everything and then it, they, they, they talked and then nothing happened and they talked again and nothing happened. They kept setting up. Now this is our ninth week being out and possibly being out for next week being 10. And I actually thought something would happen before that and we would have a agreement before that happened. I didn't realize the Kellogg's upper management was gonna be as stubborn as they had making quite that much money in the pandemic as they did last year. Um, and that's to be, some people say it's in the billions of dollars that they've made profits. And I didn't really think, I thought Kellogg's would be a little bit more wanting to bring get us back in a lot sooner, be more flexible, more real, um, be something that would be more realistic to getting us back in. Eight weeks, nine weeks out is a long time to be out of work. So. Well, well, hey Dan, thanks. I think we're all hoping you guys get back to work. For now, we're gonna send it back to you, Cerise and Mary, live outside the Kellogg's plant in Omaha. Zach Williamson, three news now this morning. Thank you, Zach.